Hey traders, this is Cousin Vinny coming to you with a quick video, I hope, that will cover how to interpret my being bullish one day and perhaps bearish two days later. Or going into the week bullish and sometime during the middle of the week I might turn bearish. First thing you want to do is subscribe to my blog. This is a spam free site cost you nothing you get on the email list and each day I cover a topic and I typically cover the thoughts for the day and a game plan spy game plan for Monday I might also look at some charts uh, of stocks now one of the things you want to consider is this is a chart of spy you can see down here where the green arrow is during this downtrend, we were mostly bearish. As we approached this low, we were looking for our next pivot point or reversal candle. This could come as a doji by itself, a hammer, or some other variable, such as a morning star doji like we see here, a big red candle, a doji, then a white candle. And at that point, we start to gear up for a bullish trend reversal. As the stock, as the indices continue to move higher, we'll break above the 10 period EMA, the magenta colored line. Prices hit this reversal line. Now, this might have been a point where I might have been looking to get bearish after being bullish only four days previously. Just something you need to keep in mind. As we broke through this trend line that connected with these highs and the Fed speech six weeks ago on Thursday, we broke through and we flagged out. We had a little brief period there. We put in a spinning top and prices started to move higher. Now we hit another area where we thought we might see a reversal or a pivot point. We see a doji. Actually, we see two dojis. And at that point, we thought we might see some downside. So at this point, we are bearish. Two days later, we shift gears, we see a turn, and SPY turns back up. Now, what made me think that we could see on the spinning top a reversal? Well, the one thing that we check is the video that we covered this weekend on tick and trend. Okay? If I look at my five minute, we can see very clearly Monday we came in we were bullish on Tuesday we see tick cumulative turn over that gave us a bearish signal so why would I stay bullish when I knew that the indices were likely going to turn down the answer is I would go bearish because I got a sell signal on the tick cumulative on the five minute on Tuesday now on Wednesday price action started to move sideways we see tick cumulative moving sideways as well. Didn't give us much of a signal, but we could tell by utilizing some other indicators that we would probably see a buy signal near term. We got a crossover. Price moved above the 20 EMA, as we see here, and we had a long signal. Tick cumulative crossed over, and we pushed higher into Thursday. Price action moved sideways on Friday and finished higher at the end of the day. Now, that very quickly can show you how very easily we can be led to be bullish coming into the week and then turn bearish and then reverse again and turn bullish all within a several days. You have to anticipate where reversal points will come, in this case a Kirby resistance area, and a hold on the 10 period EMA as well as volume by price support here. So we have all of these pivots that have occurred nine days up, sideways, down three days, reverse, move higher. Now we have this level up above that we're looking for resistance at 205.25. It's very possible we could reach that level, put in a pivot, maybe a doji, a shooting star like we see here, and then a reversal. That could happen within two to three days. So you have to understand that I am a specialist in SPY. I do watch the other 
indices, but I like to trade SPY because I've done it for so long. I've gotten very good at it, and I can call these turns very readily. So I hope this helps. Take care. We'll talk to you on a stream on Monday.